12 Common Questions and Answers About Mice in the House Although the most obvious sign is actually seeing live or dead mice in your house, there are plenty of other signs that can tell you that a mouse infestation may be building. These include There are key differences between mice and rats. Mice are much smaller than rats. Adult mice are about 7.5 inches in length, including the tail. The most common rats in the United States are the Norway rat and the roof rat. They are about 14 to 16 inches in length, with tail length varying by species. A mouse can slip through holes and gaps as small as one quarter inch, or roughly the size of a pencil. And if an opening is not big enough to squeeze through, the mouse can gnaw it until it is big enough. Mice also can jump 13 inches high and can run along wires, cables, and ropes. They are excellent jumpers, swimmers, and climbers and can scale rough and vertical surfaces. There are a number of methods of control, including traps, baits, rodenticides, and professional control. However, trapping is generally the best and safest method for homeowners to attempt. Traps can be used to kill the mice, or they can contain the animals for relocation. In addition to trapping, it's a good idea to exclude mice from the home by sealing openings around pipes, roof vents, and other potential entry points. Keeping a few traps set in likely nesting areas or entry points for mice can provide early detection of mouse intrusion. Mice most prefer to eat cereal grains and plants, but they will feed on almost anything. They are very commonly drawn to dried and bagged stored food, including pet food. A house mouse will rarely live more than a year in the wild, but in a protected environment with food and water, such as a house, it can live up to three years. If you encounter shredded paper, you have likely found a mouse nest. A mouse will build its nest from just about any soft material or finely shredded paper. And the little black rice is most likely mouse droppings. Mouse traps should be placed where the mice are. If you have found any signs of mice, shredded paper or cloth, droppings, urine stains, and gnawed items, place the traps in those areas. Traps are available from home and garden stores or even some grocery stores. Many can be reused, while others are intended to hide the trapped mouse from view and be used only once. Mice are very curious and will investigate new things. So, if mice are not caught within the first days of trap placement, the trap or bait is probably in the wrong place and should be moved. Place the trap where any signs of mice are seen or where food or water is available. Contrary to popular belief, cheese is not the best bait to use in traps. Peanut butter can be very attractive to mice, but it needs to be replaced if it gets too dry or hard. Other good options are bacon, nuts, dried food, and sticky candies. The bait should be securely attached to the trap trigger so the rodent can't simply pluck it off and walk away. Often, a small amount of peanut butter worked into the crevices or cup of a trap is the most effective bait. Mice are attracted to the smell and will have to work to get the food out of the bait, setting off the trap. Mice are nocturnal creatures, so they are most active between dusk and dawn. They don't usually like bright lights, but a mouse may sometimes be seen during the day, especially if its nest has been disturbed or it is seeking food. Seeing mice in the day also can indicate a large infestation in a home. In a single year, one female mouse can breed up to 10 litters of 5 to 6 young. These 60 offspring can begin to reproduce themselves in as little as 6 weeks. So within months, you could have a huge population of mice. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more interesting videos. And please hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm.